so indicated power that we have seen in the last class indicated power we can uh, denote that by ip indicated power we have seen uh, the formula for ip is equal to plank p l a n k by 60000 and it should be in kilowatts indicated power is in kilowatts where p is the indicated mean effective pressure units are important which is in kilo newton per meter square next l is equal to length of the stroke can represented by l suffix s and meters a is nothing but area of the piston can represent by ap units meter square n is the small n that kaplan we can replace with the small n first n is equal to number of power strokes so small n is equal to n by 2 for four stroke engine that we have seen yesterday and n equal to small n equal to kaplan for two stroke engine next where k what is that k is is equal to number of cylinders number of cylinders but we know from yesterday's class p mean effective pressure is equal to work done per cycle to the stroke volume i think it's clear now p mean effective pressure is equal to work done per cycle to the stroke volume so so this is one way of finding mean effective pressure uh, we'll go for another way how to find out the mean effective pressure another way to find out mean effective pressure so this is another way so how we are going to find out we'll see first of all
this PV diagram whatever it is there is also known as indicator diagram indicator diagram PV diagram is also known as indicator diagram so in actual engine PV diagram obtained you know obtained by obtained by mechanical or electrical instrument electrical instrument attached to the cylinder attached to the cylinder by considering spring constant that means we have to find uh, we have to consider that spring constant there is for uh, some arrangement is like that so by considering the spring constant so the actual engine the actual cycle on the indicator cord you know on the indicator cord measured by a an instrument called planimeter measured by planimeter this is by a planimeter so what it does which gives so what gives what it does it gives area to the piston displacement so simply we can say can say p mean effective pressure is equal to simply area of the indicator diagram area of the indicator diagram to the length of the indicator diagram and it should be multiplied with the you know spring constant that we'll see now 